So in the latest chapter of Fairy Tale, it ended with Wendy being returned into her own body as well as the sort of cliffhanger of Ursa and Eileen about to enter a final showdown. And the next chapter is titled Enchant Master, so just what would this title mean? I think it's pretty obvious that it's referring to Eileen in one way or another, and given the title Enchant Master, I can't help but think Eileen is keeping something big from us, but just what kind of magic could she be keeping to herself? Well, today I'll attempt to predict just what that is, but know that my prediction so far hasn't been all that accurate. Anyway, so kind of been thinking from the start that ever since we saw Eileen's dragon form that there's been a reason why we got to see it other than unveiling the mystery of Ursa's birth. So my prediction is going to revolve heavily around around Eileen's dragon form, I think that what Seraph actually did to Eileen in order to restore her into the look of a human might actually be a form of enchantment. And that's why I think it's possible that we may get to see Eileen actually resorting to the one technique she does not want to use, her ultimate transformation back into a dragon. But I am guessing this is like a last resort of Eileen because we know Eileen doesn't like being a dragon. In fact, she went absolutely psycho when finding out that Wendy was compatible as a new body. So naturally, if she does actually end up turning into a dragon, I think she'll do it for Zeref and Alvarez. I mean, Eileen has pretty much sworn her life to Zeref after being turned back and as we've seen, her loyalty to him is pretty solid. I mean, she's a loose cannon, but she does in the end obey his commands more or less. Not to mention that she did actually say to Urza that she'd kill her because she's just a threat now. Family bonds mean nothing to Eileen and same went for Urza. I guess it runs in the family. So if this ends up happening and Eileen actually does turn into a full dragon on Urza, I guess what is going to happen? I mean Urza could never win against a dragon, she's not even a dragon slayer. I mean Natsu and the other dragon slayers in the past could barely dent the dragons, so how would Urza fare? I'm, I mean someone whose magic isn't even designed to handle them in the first place. I believe there's going to be a third fighter here and I know I have brought this up a lot and I'm going to bring it up once again. I think that Acnologia will come and fight finish what he started. However, I don't think we'll necessarily be seeing Acnologian 518 already as much as I want the fight to be over. I think that if Acnologia enters the fray, it's going to either end with his appearance or he'll drop by the next chapter or the one after, you know, he, the fight could take a long time, we just don't know at this point, but that's just Ursa's perspective of this war. I think we might get some more Natsu in 518 actually, because we didn't have any 517. So I just want Natsu to actually reach the end of his dream, whatever lies ahead, e and probably, I guess we'll find out. So in short, Eileen may end up finding herself in a tight spot and will turn into her dragon form that she's avoided ever since she met Seraph, who turned her back into a human and there may be a potential Acnology appearance as well as some Natsu content within the next chapter of Fairy Tale. I'll be wrapping it up here, let me know what you guys think about this prediction even though it did end up stretching slightly past 518 probably. Comment down below what you guys think and as always if you did please like this video and subscribe if you're new to my channel.